That was a pretty cool clip, right? I recorded that with the Insta 361, the newest VR camera from Chinese startup Insta 360. So you can use the one as a standalone camera just like that, or you can use the protective case as a handle. After you plug it in though, it looks like that memory wiper thing from Men in Black, you know, when Tommy Lee Jones would wipe people's memories <laughs> with the thing. There is a hole at the bottom so you can screw in a tripod or a selfie stick, which Insta360 sells separately. The camera has two fisheye lens, 24 megapixel that can shoot at 4K resolution at 30 frames per second. There is no internal storage, so you have to plug in a micro SD slot. And you can also plug the camera into an iPhone. An Android version is coming later. After you plug it into an iPhone or an iPad, you can preview your video in, you know, on the device. So that's pretty cool when you have iPad. And then down at the bottom right corner, you can change to perspective, or you can change it to tiny planet, you know, that little gimmicky thing that you might be seeing on Instagram. Photo quality turns out pretty well. There's not that much of that fisheye distortion. I think it's great when you're going or when you're going out with friends. And there's also a bullet time mode. As you can see, I'm the camera's spinning around me right now while everyone around me looks like they're not moving. That's because this is really just a slow motion video. But it's a pretty cool trick. Another cool trick the Insta 360 can do, it's called free capture. That allows you to turn a 360 degree video into a just normal 2D video, but you, you can manipulate the angle and framing of the shot. So this is the finished product. This is just a normal video that I can post on Facebook or Instagram. All right, enough talking for me. Let's look at some samples. There's an internal battery inside the camera that can allow you to record for up to 70 minutes and then you can recharge it via micro USB. So the Insta361 goes on sale on September 11th at 299 US dollars. So if you're someone who travels a lot or just hang out with friends, I think it's a pretty cool camera. Thanks for watching.